What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to scrape Google Trends by creating a simple workflow in any time. Let's get started. To scrape Google Trends, I'm going to use this tool called Appify. Appify is an incredible tool that you can use to scrape any website and automate projects. So to get 30% off your first purchase of this tool, just click the link down below in the description and then go ahead and create an account in Appify. And after creating an account in Appify, head over to Appify store. Here, we're going to search for the website that we'd like to scrape. In our case, we'd like to scrape Google Trends. So I'll search for Google Trends right here. Then click on search. Here you'll find the various tools that you can use to scrape Google Trends. I'm going to use this tool right here, so I'll open it in a new tab. This is the tool that we're going to use to scrape Google Trends. For example, we can scrape trending searches in the United States in the past 24 hours. And now to do that, I'll just click on Save and Start right here in this tool. Here, I'll click on output, and you can see that our tool succeeded in scraping 50 trending searches from the US right now over here. So you can see rank number one is Iran attacks US base. Here, you can see the various searches over here. So you can see rank number one, rank number two, rank number three, and all these ranks over here. So now to get these trending searches to our workflow, here I'm going to click on API, then here I'm going to Scroll with this get data set items and copy this link. Then I'll go back right here to our workflow. And here I'm going to add a trigger. And then after adding a trigger, I'm going to search for the HTTP request node. Click on it. Then here we're going to add our URL and click on execute step right here to get our searches. So you can see the trending searches right here. Rank number one, this is current trending search. This is the second one. This is the third one right here. Fourth one fifth one and you can go on and so forth in our tool you can also choose to turn this off or here and perform a keyword analysis for example here we can add a keyword like uh, bitcoin and see how it has been performing in the past day in the searches to do that i'll click on save and start you can see that our tool is running let's give it a second for you to scrape the results of bitcoin you can see it was a success. Here I'll click on API, then copy the get it as a time, and then in our node I'll paste on a URL over here and click on execute step. So here you can see the keyword Bitcoin. Timeline data here. So you open Google Trends. You can see first of all the results that we got after we scrape the data using our workflow here. Now let us search the keyword Bitcoin and how it's performing the searches. Here. Yeah, I'll add Bitcoin. Is our search term and click on it. So here you can see how it has been performing. So for the past, here we added the timeline is one day. So you can see at 2240, it was at 61. So at 2240, you can see it was around that, the 61 mark over here. So that is what these numbers mean. Over here, the trending search, and it's out of 100. So when you see 55, it was 55 out of 100. So it's way above average. I'm mainly interested in scraping Google Trends that have been that have been trending in a specific place. I'll enable trending search mode here. Here, so here I'll turn everything to off. Then enable regional data. Then click on save and start. Now click on output, you can see it succeeded in scraping the trends for us. And here I'll click on API. And here I'm going to copy the get data set item. Then here I'll drop this out here over here, then click on execute step. And here now you can see the trending searches in the US right now. Similar to when you click on trending now in Google Trends, the results that you get over here are the same results that you're going to get over here. And one is Iran attacks US base, and one is ceasefire. As you can see over here, these are the trending searches right now. So now to scrape these searches automatically without having to scrape the data here then get, and then get the data set URL and come and paste it here to execute the step and get the trends. We can choose to scrape the trending searches right here in any 10. 
to do that here, I'll remove this URL. I'll open up a file documentation. And here, I'll scroll down below to find the API that we'd like to call. So we'd like to run an Okta. So I'll search for run an Okta over here and click on run Okta synchronously with input and get it as a data. And here, I'll copy this URL. Then go back to our HTTP request node and click on import CURL and paste the CURL over here and click on import. Here, we're going to add three items. The first thing that we're going to add is the actor ID. And then here, we're going to add the API token and the JSON down below right here. So let's start by adding the actor ID. To get the actor ID, I'll go back to our tool and click on our tool right here. Then from the search URL, you'll copy the unique ID of this tool, which is this unique ID. Remember, it's in the search URL and paste the one we just copied right here. Then the next thing that we're going to add is the API token right here. I'll click on expression and then expand this so we can add our API token. To get our API token, I'll go back to Webify, then click on settings. Then I'll click on API and integrations. I'll click on create a new token to create a token. Then we're going to give it a name like test. Then click on create. And then after our token was created, I'm going to copy it. And then go back to our workflow and paste our token right here. Then here I'll click on back to converse. Then down below here, we're going to add our JSON. Here we're going to specify the body using JSON. Then here we're going to add our JSON. To get our JSON, I'll click on our tool. Then where it says manual and JSON, click on JSON. Then here we're going to copy our JSON right here. Then click on back to converse and paste our JSON right here. So now let us try scraping training searches in the US in the past 24 hours right here without having to manually scrape the searches using this tool and then pasting the data set ID right here. We can automatically do that right here in our workflow. So to do that, I'll click on execute step. You can see it's executing our node. Let's give it a second. Then here you can see we're getting the training searches in the US right now over here. If we wanted to analyze a keyword on the training search, here, I'll click on manual right here. Then we're going to disable the training searches mode, including here. Then here we're going to add our search term, which is Bitcoin. And then we're going to check activity in the past, let's say, four hours. And then here you can specify the country, say the United States. And here, instead of having to now scrape the data of the keyword, I'm going to just go to the JSON. And here I'll copy this JSON. Then I'll go back to our tool. Here I'll delete this JSON. And paste our JSON right here and click on execute step. Now you can see we're getting. Now you can see we're getting the analysis of this keyword in the past four hours right here. So it's 1953, it was at 57 percent. It's amazing. So I'll go back to our tool, click on manual. And I'd like to perform a training search mode. So here, I remove this search term. Can remove this also. And then, add, then add regional data of this JSON. I'll copy this JSON right here. Copy it. And then here, I'll delete this JSON and paste the JSON right here. Then click on Execute Step to scrape training searches in the US in the first 24 hours. And these are the training searches right here. So, so here. I renamed this node to Google Trends Scraper. Then click on rename. Now that we've gotten our trending searches right here, here I'll click on back to converse. And then we can add, now we can add our trending searches to a spreadsheet. On Google Sheet, I've created a spreadsheet that I've renamed to trending searches. And then here I've created a sheet that I've renamed to trending searches. And this is the sheet that we're going to add our trending searches. Here we're going to add the rank the training term, trend volume of the term. We're also going to add terms related to our training term right here. So now let's go ahead and add our trending searches to this spreadsheet. So to do that, here, I'll search for Google Sheet. Click on Google Sheets, then click on Append Drawing Sheet. Here, I'll choose our document, which should be training searches. Our sheet will be the training searches sheet. And here we're going to add values to our columns in our spreadsheet. So to do that, I'll click on schema. And then for the rank, we're going to drag the rank right here. For the trending term, we're going to drag the term right here. For the trend volume, we're going to add the trend volume right here. The related term, we're going to add the first related term right here. The second one right here. The third one right here. And the fourth one right here. 
to add these training searches to a spreadsheet and click on execute step. You can see that our node was executed successfully. Now here, when I open our spreadsheet, you can see we added our trending term over here. Here we added the rank, the term, the trend volume, and the related terms over here, related to our trending term over here. So here we are going back to canvas, and then we can rename this node to trend searches. Then here I'm going to click on rename. And here I'm going to click on save. Now we can try to scrape in such as in a different location. So we can try this time, we can try UK. And then click on back to converse and then I'll execute workflow. You can see it outputted an error telling me that the input is not valid. And if we're going to add an initial of a country, should be one of these over here that is accepted. So instead of UK, we can add a Great Britain over here and click on back to converse and then I'll execute our workflow. You can see that our workflow was executed successfully. So now I open this node. You can see we added our training search to a spreadsheet. So this was ranking in the in Great Britain. So here, so here, I'm going to insert a column to the left, and this one I'm going to name it country. Right here. So this was a uh, US, and this was a uh, Great Britain. Now I'll go back to our workflow to and refresh it right here. Then for the country, we're going to the country right here. So now. I'll go back to canvas and then here I'll open this node to try and scrape a different different training search in a different location. So we can try Australia. And then here I'll go back to canvas and then click on execute workflow to scrape training searches in Australia. So you can see it was executed successfully when I open this node. We succeeded in scraping a training search. In Australia. When I open our spreadsheet, you can see we added the training search over here. In Australia, so the number one ranking is a uh, cutout. And here's the training volume trend volume and the related terms over here. I can try to scrape a different in a, a different location. For example, France. And here, I'll click on back to canvas and then click on execute workflow. So you can now act. So these are the trending searches right here in France. So to do that, I'll click on execute workflow to create the trending search in France and add it to a spreadsheet right here. You can see it was executed successfully. Now when I open our spreadsheet, you can see the number one training search in France right here. Here's the trend volume and the related terms right here, which is incredible. So our workflow works perfectly. Yeah, we are successfully scraping training searches from Google using this uh, tool in Appify. Then we add in the search, the training searches in a spreadsheet, this spreadsheet right here, where we are adding the country, the rank of the term, the term that is ranking number one in each country, the trend volume, and some related terms that are related to the trending tr to the trending search using the simple workflow that we created right here in any 10 Now, if you have a workflow or an AI agent that you'd like for me to create using any 10 just comment down below in the comment section. I read all the comments, and if I land on your comment and I find it intriguing, I'll come back in a future video showing you how to create the entire workflow or AI agent from scratch using any 10 but for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.